What's up everybody and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be answering the question, how do I avoid getting scammed? Say you wanna get started in a new field or a new business or a new investment or you wanna buy your first real estate property, but you do not wanna get scammed. You work really hard for your money and you don't wanna waste your money or time. And it's very unfortunate that in today's world that scams are pretty prevalent. Not everybody's out there to scam you, but there's quite a few people out there that do wanna take advantage of you if you don't know any better. So in today's video, I'm gonna be going over a few ways that you can ensure not being scammed or at least lower your percentage on the chance that you get scammed. Way number one is the tried and true method of if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. If someone's telling you that you can make $100,000 a month sitting on your couch with only a few hours a week with no experience, they're probably tricking you. They're probably out to get your money and scam you and waste your time and your precious money. These ads are everywhere. They're all over the internet. They're on YouTube before you start playing a video. They're on Facebook as you're scrolling by. You know, get started with little money. Use almost none of your time. In two, three, four hours a week, you can make $100,000 a month too. This is just not gonna be true, guys. It's gonna end up wasting a lot of your time and effort trying to go down this route, and we call it easy street. It's just not a real thing. How many people do you know that are working from home two to five hours a week making $100,000 a month? Let me help you with that answer. It's zero. Unless you know somebody that's a really big businessman and they built up a business over several years and then that's passive income to them now, more than likely you don't know anybody fresh in an industry making that type of money with little to no effort put in. So avoid those at all costs. Number two, educate yourself. The more you know, the less likely you're going to be to get taken advantage of. People love going after people that just don't know any better or that are excited to get started in a new field and they don't know the ins and outs. That's the best people to take advantage of for these people that are out to get you. They know that you really want to make money and you want to make it fast and as easy as possible so they take advantage of you not knowing any better and tell you things that are just not true. And since you don't know any better, you believe them, you follow them along, especially if they're fronting. If they're riding around in a nice car that they probably leased, if they're showing you pictures of houses that's not theirs, if they're showing you bank statements that's not theirs, you're probably going to believe them. You're probably going to follow them along because again, you don't know any better. So educate yourself as much as possible before going into a new industry or looking into a new business idea or venture or real estate investment or whatever the case may be. You want to know as much as possible going into this. And number three would be do your due diligence. Look into the background of this person or this company. Look, a big one of these is MLM companies and I've done a whole video on this. Not all MLMs are scams, okay? There are a lot of them that are scams, but not all of them are. It's actually a fantastic business model if done appropriately and honestly. But that doesn't mean that your lead or your recruiter could not be a scammy type person and lie to you and to get you in the door because building their downline is how they make the most money. So sometimes they'll say whatever they have to say in order to get you into the business model and get you producing money for them as quickly as possible. So what you need to do is, like I said, do your due diligence, do your research on the company, go on Reddit, go on open forums, talk to other people that are in the business, research it as much as possible, read reviews, and don't just take one or two reviews, really dig into this and see what people are really saying about this person or this company that you're going to get involved with before you spend any of your money or time going down that road. Number four is patience. Take your time. Don't have to rush into these things. It's okay to not get rich quick. Guys, everybody's trying to get rich quick and that's what leads them to getting scammed sooner or later. They always wanna take the easy street. They always wanna get things right now. They want a million dollars tomorrow. Look, we all do. But that is what leaves you vulnerable to getting tricked and scammed by these companies. They know you want it fast and they'll say whatever they have to say to you and you'll probably take the deal because you're impatient. So please be patient in this journey. And last but not least, number five, Get a mentor. Get someone that's been through it before, that's probably 10, 15, 20 years ahead of you, or at least have been in the industry for longer than you have, and they will help guide you and prevent you from running into these scam artists or into these scam businesses, and they will help save you a ton of money. Businesses that are famous for this are like the Forex trading and the uh, drop shipping and even real estate. These are the big businesses that know that people wanna get rich inside of them, so they take advantage of them first. If you have someone like a mentor that's been in the game long enough, they can guide you away from these types of businesses and these types of people and save you a ton of time and money. Look, it's understandable that you're just getting started and even if you've educated yourselves in books and everything, you're not gonna know all the ins and outs of the business. So finding someone that does can really help you establish yourself and help protect you against these people that are trying to take advantage of you. All right, guys, that's it. That's five ways to help you prevent getting scammed. I hope you find these videos helpful. I'm gonna just keep answering these questions that are asked of me. I'm 
going to keep them short and to the point, and I hopefully you guys find them educational and help you along your business or financial journey. As always, if you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.